coverage in the great state of New Jersey. It's the Price is Right, Price and Dan Recap. And now, here's your host, Mr. Hardin. Welcome to the Price is Right, Price and Game Recap for Wednesday, December 18th, 2013. Oh, I can't believe it. It's one week before Christmas. This year is almost over. Here are today's pricing games. Half off. Flip flop. Let them roll. Make your move. Pick a number and more or less. The first contestant was Sharon. She bid $997 on a Wearing Pro countertop appliance collection that was presented as the Price is Right holiday gift idea of the day, modeled by the kind Carla Mosley from The Bold and the Beautiful. Actual retail price, $1,028. Sharon missed that by $31. She played half off for a chance to win $10,000 in cash. The small prizes on the left were modeled by the ravishing Rachel Reynolds. And the small prizes on the right were modeled by Carla. Just a... Um, Clear up the explanation. Rachel had the small prizes on her left. Carla had the small prizes on her right. Now, for Sharon's first attempt of getting rid of half the boxes, we had a pair of Kate Spade lightweight and scratch resistant cheap sunglasses and a potato ricer with three settings. The Kate Spade sunglasses were priced at $89 and the potato ricer had a price of $30. Sharon believed the half-off price went to the Kate Spade sunglasses. Rachel revealed the price of those Kate Spade sunglasses to be... $178. That was the half-off price. The four boxes that went away were 1, 4, 5, 8, 13, 14, 15, and 16. Our next two small prizes were a digital food thermometer that measures temperatures from negative 40 degrees to 450 degrees, and a ceramic snowflake design sugar and creamer set. The digital food thermometer had a price of $10, and the sugar and creamer set had a price of $12. Sharon believed the sugar and creamer set was the half-off price. I was feeling that myself. So, Carla revealed the price of the sugar and creamer set, and it turned out to be... Oh, $12. Should have chose the digital food thermometer. That was $20. I thought she had that one. All right, for her third and final attempt of getting rid of half the boxes, we had... A Michael by Michael Kors leather zip around wallet and a Cuisinart sandwich maker. The wallet was priced at $64 and the sandwich maker was priced at $40. Sharon believed the Michael by Michael Kors leather zip around wallet was half off and Rachel revealed its price and it turned out to be $128. That was the half-off price, so four boxes went away. They were 2, 3, 10, and 11. And now, with boxes 6, 7, 9, and 12 left standing, Sharon chose box number 9 as her pick. It was actually her kids telling her to choose box number 9. Uh, her gut, though, was telling her number 6. Well, uh, let's see who was right, the kids or Sharon's gut. Rachel brought box number nine over to Sharon and Drew, and when it was time to open the box, inside, Sharon found... Mm, 
no ten thousand dollars. The box that had the ten thousand dollars was number twelve. It was not number six. Although twelve is a double number of six. Okay, the second contestant was Hannah. She bid $1,250 on a Miserac Cherry Laminate 8-foot pool table. Modeled by Carla and Rachel. Actual retail price, $1,300. She missed that by $50. Uh, she played flip-flop for a chance to win a trip for two to Madrid, Spain. That is round-trip coach from Los Angeles and includes a six-night stay in a boutique hotel plus a guided tasting tour. Modeled by Rachel at door number four. The wrong price was $6,785. Hannah could flip to make the price $7,685, or she can flop to make the price $6,758, or she can flip and flop to make the price $7,658. Hannah chose to just flip making the price 7685 And when Drew let Hannah press the button to reveal the actual retail price of the trip to Spain, it turned out to be $7,685! Hannah is on her way to Spain! Nice win. The third contestant was Sherry, who was a house cleaner from Lake Elsinore, California. Like Hannah, she bid $1,250 on a 21.5 carat Oregon Champagne Sunstone from Carla B. Proud Designer Jewelry. It includes a pendant, a ring, and earrings that was brought down from the ceiling. Actual retail price, $1,875. She played Let em Roll for a chance to win a 2014 Jeep Patriot Sport modeled by Carla, a prize worth $17,475. Rachel was over by the three grocery products, which were gold bottles and healing lotion with aloe, one quart of Castrol GTX motor oil, and Oreo sandwich cookies. Uh, Rachel revealed the price of the gold bottles and healing lotion with aloe, and it was the very familiar price of $7.18. Cherry believed the price of the Castle GTX motor oil was less than $7.18. Still a little doubtful on that. Rachel revealed the price of the Castle GTX motor oil to be... What did you know? $5.99. She proved me wrong. She gets another roll. She gets, that, she gets an earned roll to go along with the roll she got for free. Now, for the Oreos, were they more or less than $5.99? Pardon me. Sorry about that. Uh, Sherry believed the price of the Oreos were less than $5.99, and this one I definitely was feeling confident about. Rachel revealed the price of the Oreos to be $3.99. She gets another roll. She has three rolls total. Now, when Sherry went up the stairs and dumped the bucket full of cubes to be rolled down to the slide, in her first roll she got... Three cars and two one thousand dollars. That means two thousand dollars there. Sherry decided to keep on rolling. 
So, in our second roll, Sherry got one car and five hundred dollars. Sherry decided to roll one more time, and who couldn't blame her one bit? So now, in her third and final roll, Sherry ended up getting. $1,500. Wasn't the car, but $1,500 is better than $500, and it's better than, well, $1,000. So she got the highest money amount on the cube for Let Em Roll. And that is a consolation win. Okay, the fourth contestant was Cynthia from Syracuse, Utah. I learned today that there is a city in Utah named Syracuse, not just a city in New York. She bid $1,400 on an Apple Mac mini computer that includes a 27-inch monitor, wireless keyboard, and a Magic Track pack Magic Track Pad, excuse me. And that was modeled by Carla and Rachel. Actual retail price, $1,736. Cynthia was playing Neil Rock City 7's favorite pricing game, Make Your Move, for a chance to win these three prizes. A Polaroid 300 instant camera, a three-piece lightweight and durable Delcy spinner wheel luggage set. Both the camera and the three-piece luggage were modeled by Rachel. And a trip for two to Washington, D.C., the United States' capital. And it's round-trip coach from Los Angeles and includes a six-night stay in a luxury hotel plus a guided electric car tour modeled by Carla. The numbers from left to right were... Nine two four four five five nine six zero. Cynthia placed the red marker for the instant camera at sixty dollars for the two numbers. For the yellow marker, she placed nine hundred twenty-four dollars as the three numbers in the price. And for the trip to Washington, D.C., she placed the green marker under the four numbers in the price of the trip to $4,559. So, let's just once again confirm her choices. $60 for the instant camera, $924 for the luggage set, and $4,559 for the trip to D.C. Did Cynthia win all three prizes? No, she didn't. The actual retail prices were, for the Polaroid 300 instant camera, $92. The Delphi luggage set, three-piece, $960. And the trip to Washington, D.C. was $4,455. The fifth contestant was Samuel from North New Jersey. He is from my state and Sports Guy 528 state. He bid $1,500 on a Tory Burch Versatile Leather Shoe Collection modeled by Carla. Actual retail price, $1,565. Missed it by $65. He played Pick a Number for a chance to win a Howard Miller Total Home Six Piece King Bedroom Group that is in distressed rustic hardwood finish. It includes a sleigh bed with footboard storage, two nightstands, a dresser, plus mirror and chest, along with a Comfort Air King mattress with 65 individual comfort settings, and a pair of 16-gig tablets 
that each have a 1.2 gigahertz dual core processor and integrated support. All of the prizes in that prize package were modeled by Rachel. The display price was one blank six one seven. So this was a five digit prize he was playing for and the second number was missing. That was in the thousands spot. Carla was over by the numbers two, four, and six. Samuel went with six as his choice, believing the bedroom group with the um, tablets cost $16,617. So when Carla placed the six in the second spot, and Drew revealed what the missing number was, the price read out as... $12,617. He should have chosen the two. Well, it was an expensive bedroom group, but it wasn't that expensive as Samuel thought. The sixth and final contestant was Bradley, who was a student from Chino, California. He bid $700 on a Proform indoor exercise bike modeled by Rachel. Actual retail price, $799. Missed it by $99. He played more or less for a chance to win these four prizes. A Honda CRF110F off-road motorcycle, that is equipped with a four-speed transmission with automatic clutch and a 109cc engine modeled by Rachel. A 50-inch LED 1080p HDTV that has a sharp picture quality and has clear motion ring technology and wide color enhancer plus modeled by Carla. A side-by-side -side refrigerator that has external controls with actual temperature display and full extension freezer baskets also modeled by Carla, and a Kia Rio LX, modeled by Rachel. First for the off-road motorcycle, priced at $1,300, Bradley believed the actual retail price was more than that price. And Drew revealed it to be... more! It was $1,999. Now over to the HCTV with a price of $2,000. Bradley believed the actual retail price was less than that price. And Drew revealed it to be... less! It was $1,200, the actual retail price. He's two for two. Now for the refrigerator, priced at $1,800. Bradley believed the actual retail price was more now, if that refrigerator was more than $1,800, he'd go on to the car. And when Drew revealed whether $1,800 was more or less for the actual retail price, it turned out to be... More! $2,399 was the actual retail price. And now over to the Kia Rio LX with a price of $16,000. Bradley believed that the actual retail price was less. I, for one, was feeling very good on that choice as Kias aren't really that expensive of cars. Now, if that Kia Rio LX was less than $16,000, he wins the car. If the Kia Rio LX was more than $16,000, Bradley will keep the three prizes he already won. And when it was time for Drew to reveal whether $16,000 was more or less for the actual retail price, it turned out to be... Hate to be the bearer of bad news, folks. It was 
$52,205. Way to go, Bradley! Congratulations! Promotional consideration for the price is right. Pricing and recap this week is provided by Cup. Frozen yogurt? That's hot. So, two more days left of this week. Will you be seeing me again? Or will you see Martin S5 1989 if any of his show up? Tune in for the next two days. Until then, this is Mr. Morgan reminding you to help control the pet population. Have your pets spayed or neutered.